everyone, I'm Olivia and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you places that I think are the best for taking photos in Royal High, and specifically some places that would be great for if you're trying to do a theme or you're trying to be more creative. I know a few places around the map that would be really great for that. We're not going to be going into too much detail about how to take good quality photos or utilize the lighting. I'm just going to be showing you some places that I think are really great to get ready to take your photos. I do have a tutorial on how to take better quality photos if you're interested in watching that after. But for now, let's just get started looking around the map for our new photo spots. So as you can see, I'm in Divinia Park and I'm standing right in front of the fountain. This is our first photo spot and it's actually my favorite spot for taking photos. The background is absolutely beautiful and if I don't feel like editing in my own background, this is a no-brainer. The lighting is perfect and there's no shadows on our avatar. It's just beautiful and I really recommend taking photos right here. So our next spot in Divinia is actually super, super close to where we are right now. We're just gonna go around the fountain to the left and go to this corner right here in front of where the egg hunt is at the moment. So obviously the egg hunt makes it look a little weird right now, but when the egg hunt is not there, it is absolutely beautiful and I love it to pieces. So this spot is in front of the waterfall behind the egg hunt. I think this is a really underrated spot. It's so beautiful and it's one of the few places in Divinia where the lighting is good on your avatar and there's no shadows. This is one of my favorite spots in Divinia and I very much recommend it. So this last little treehouse area we're going to is a pretty well-known spot. I don't really like the lighting of it, but it's still great if you're doing a little themed photo shoot and it's very cute. So that was our last spot in Divinia, and as you can see, I've gone to Diamond Beach. And our first spot in Diamond Beach is, shocker, another fountain. So this is pretty much the same as in Divinia, but if you're looking for a more urban look to it. Also in the fountain, you could do something pretty creative with this. I just think it's very pretty inside the fountain as well. And as you can see, I'm going towards the shop area and in front of the nursery building as well as in the nursery. The lighting isn't perfect in here, but I still think it's very cute and worth taking a little picture here. So now we're gonna head over to the beach area in Diamond Beach, and we're gonna go over to this lift and get into one of the carts. Your avatar might fall over a few times when you're getting in, but I think this is a really unique location and the view is very pretty. And our next spot is just to the right of the lift a little bit. We're just going on the patio of this house over here. I think that this would be great for a formal beach photo shoot. The view is very pretty and overall this is a very gorgeous spot to take photos. So our next spot that we're going to is in the back a little bit. I don't know how well known this spot is, but I think it's one of the coolest spots in Royal High. It's just this little pool area up here, and then if you jump down on this building a little bit, there is another spot. And I think this is a really cozy, relatively not well-known place, and it's so cute, and I just love it so much. But our next stop is going to be a little bit farther away. We're going to the actual beach, and this is the spot I recommend if you're trying to take a photo on the beach in Diamond Beach. This area right here, the lighting looks the best on your avatar. You'll notice there's no shadows covering my face right here. So this is a really good spot if you're wanting to take a photo in Diamond Beach. And since that was our last location, you'll see that I've gone to Enchantix, which is a pretty underrated realm in itself, but it has some really great photo spaces here. So I like going on these little flowers, like if you're doing a fairy photo shoot, you can sit on these flowers and I think it looks so cute. And the next place we're going to is over to this mermaid area over here. I know a lot of people take photos in this shell, it's pretty much a classic area, but I like to use the little shells around them, like this one over here to the right. It looks weird if you're just sitting like this or standing, but if you do a sitting animation, I think it looks really cute and it looks better for a photo than the big shell. So the next spot we're going to is I have the key to the ice storm. 
So I'm just going over to this dorm over here. And I think this dorm is really great for if it's not during the winter event on Royal High and there's no realm for that. This is great for winter themed photo shoots, especially if you don't want your background to be too detailed or elaborate. So our next spot at Enchantix is going to be the Popstar dorm. So I'm just gonna get my key and go into the Popstar area over here. And I never usually go in here except for this one spot on the second floor. It's just a little stage that I think is perfect for just anything music related. I know that the New Year's event was really good for that, but if it's not New Year's and you're looking for the next best thing, this is great. So now I've gone to the new campus for Royal High and I'm just going from the spawn all the way to the pool area and into the secret mermaid location. I don't take a lot of photos in here, but it's absolutely gorgeous and it has a lot of possibilities for some cool photos, so I definitely recommend checking this little place out. So our next location is going to be relatively near here. We're just going to go up a little bit and onto this little ledge on the waterfall. I think this is a really cute area if you're going for like a tropical photo shoot or anything like that. It's not too detailed, it's not too basic. I think this is just right and it's a very cute little corner spot. So our next place is we're going to be going over the waterfall just like this and going right here to this heart bush. There's one similar to this in the classic campus if you prefer that campus. I think this little spot is really cute just because the water is underneath it and you get a really good view of the campus and the sky in the background. So our next location is going to be another waterfall. I'm just going right here behind the ceremony area. I take a lot of photos here. I think it's a good substitute for Divinia Park. If you're looking for a nature kind of vibe but you don't like the natural lighting in Divinia, that's a really nice little hidden spot. And of course the ceremony area is very formal and elegant and beautiful. So our next location is we're going to actually go back into the castle and we're going to go back towards the chemistry and art classrooms and at the window. I know this spot is totally random, but the way that the light comes through the window right here is definitely beautiful and a great place to take a photo. So now we're done in the new campus and we're going to go to the apartment complex. There's only like one or two spots in here that I really use just because I don't really like the lighting in here. The aquarium is always very nice. And then over here by the stairs and the piano, these are the only places that I take photos in here and even then I have to edit the lighting to make it look normal, but it's still a very pretty location. And our last stop is going to be to go to Earth. So when we're on Earth, we're just going to go over towards the wheel and go to the Sapphire store. I love the black and white lines of the background in this store. If I don't feel like editing in a really fancy background, I think this is the next best thing. It is perfect and one of my favorite spots on the map. So our next stop is going to be this little hidden thing over here. I only found this recently out of my four years of playing. It's absolutely gorgeous and I don't know how I missed this. It's like a mini castle and it's definitely more elegant than the actual campuses. So if you're looking for a more formal royalty location, I definitely recommend this. And this is actually our last spot in the video. I hope you guys liked these locations. If you have locations of your own that you think are perfect for taking photos, feel free to comment and I can always make a part two if there's enough suggestions. I hope you like this and like I said, I have a tutorial on how to take good quality photos if you want to check that out as well. And as always, I hope everyone is having a great day and I'll see you later. Bye!